Machines take me by surprise with great frequency. Alan Turing. Good morning, recruits. Today, we will be talking about Dr. Gears' favorite SCP, SCP-914, aka The Clockworks. This is one of the most cross-tested SCPs at the Foundation. At some point, we may just have a lecture going over the test logs of SCP-914. SCP-914, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. Only personnel who submit a formal request and receive approval from site command may operate 914. SCP-914 is to be kept in Research Cell 109-B with two guard personnel on duty at all times. Any researchers entering 109-B are to be accompanied by at least one guard for the entirety of testing. A full list of tests to be carried out must be given to all guard personnel on duty. Any deviation from this list will result in termination of testing, forcible removal of personnel from 109-B, and formal discipline at Site Command's discretion. Warning! At this time, no testing of biological matter is allowed. Refer to document 109-B-117. Applying the rough setting to explosive materials is not advised. Description. 914 is a large clockwork device weighing several tons and covering an area of 18 square meters, consisting of screws, drives, belts, pulleys, gears, springs, and other clockwork. It is incredibly complex, consisting of over, over 8 million moving parts, comprised mostly of tin and copper, with some wooden and cloth items observed. Observation and probing have showed no electronic assemblies or any form of power other than the main spring under the selection panel. Two large booths, 10 feet by 7 feet by 7 feet, are connected via copper tubes to the main body of SCP-914, labeled intake and output. Between them is a copper panel with a large knob with a small arrow attached. The words rough, coarse, one-to-one, one, fine, and very fine are positioned at points around the knob. Below the knob is a large key that winds the mainspring. When an object is placed in the intake booth, a door slides shut and a small bell sounds. If the knob is turned to any position and the key wound up, SCP-914 will refine the object in the booth. No energy is lost in the process, and the object appears to be in stasis until the output booth door is opened. Intense observation and testing have not shown how SCP-914 accomplishes this, and no test object has ever been observed inside SCP-914 during the refining process. The process takes between 5 and 10 minutes, depending on the size of the object being refined. Addendum 5-14 Dr. Test log. Input. One kilogram of steel. Setting. Rough. Output. Pile of steel chunks of various sizes appearing to be cut by a laser. Input. One kilogram of steel. Setting. One to one. Output. One kilogram of steel screws. Input. One kilogram of steel. Setting. Fine. Output. One kilogram of steel carpet tacks. Input. 1 kilogram of steel. Setting. Very fine. Output. Several gases that dissipated into the air quickly and 1 gram of unknown metal, resistant to heat of 50,000 degrees, impossible to bend or break with any force, and a near-perfect 1.6 times 10 to the negative 75th p conductor of electricity. Input. 1 wristwatch belonging to Dr. <laughs> setting. Course. Output. One completely disassembled wristwatch. Input. One cell phone belonging to... <laughs> setting. One to one. Output. One cell phone, although different make and model. Input. One standard Colt Python revolver. Setting. Very fine. Output. <laughs> Aforementioned... 
completely disintegrated all matter in its line of fire. Object contained with high-density gamma waves. Input. One white mouse. Setting. One to one. Output. One brown mouse. Input. One chimp. Setting. Fine. Output. Input. One chimp. Setting. Rough. Output. Badly mutilated corpse showing signs of crushing and cutting with high heat. Document number 109-B-117. Dr. and Dr. Test log. Input. Subject D-186. Male Caucasian, 42 years old. 108 kilograms, 185 centimeters tall. Setting. 1 to 1. Output. Male Hispanic, 42 years old, 100 kilograms, 188 centimeters tall. Subject was very confused and agitated. Subject attacked security personnel. Subject terminated. Input. Subject D-187. Male Caucasian, 28 years old, 63 kilograms, 173 centimeters tall. Setting. Very fine. Output. Subject escaped from test chamber, killing eight guards as well as Dr. and Dr. Lockdown initiated. Subject causes containment failure of three SCP areas and continued escape attempt. Special response team engages subject, resulting in severe wounding of subject, partial memory loss in special response team members, and corrosive damage to plumbing. Subject expired several hours later, dissolving into blue ash and blinding nearby research team. Biological testing with SCP-914 discontinued. Note, because of the nature of this SCP, a wide range of test data would be helpful. Dr. Gears has ordered that any researcher can have access for non-biological testing if they themselves are, or they are supervised by, a level 3 researcher. All testing is to be recorded in file number 914-E, Experiment Log 914. Biological testing will continue only with prior clearance by O5 command. As long as you want to try something mundane that isn't alive, feel free to help accumulate data. Dr. Re well, recruits, I hope you enjoyed that lecture, and I hope that if you want to hear the testing logs in the future, you will let me know. As always, secure, contain, protect.